Hello, my hero, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, overcast with a good chance of some angry showers, I'm afraid, for the heroes of the zodiac, really everyone on the planet. Lots going on. Let's start with the moon. Last night, the moon moved into Pisces, depending on where you live, and what that came down to for you is emotional focus, the moon, on your subconscious issues. This is the area that you just spent literally a month working on, the weeds in your soul garden, the issues in your life that sabotage your potential success. So this is almost the emotional follow-through of the last 30 days of spiritual work. Perhaps you did it all intellectually, but you never really cried, you never really got it out, you never really purged all that stuff. And on top of that, the moon is crossing over Mars during the course of the day. Remember, Mars is aggressive, masculine, testosterone energy. It's your ruling planet. It's what you do best. But when the moon crosses Mars, it tends to create emotional flare-ups for people. And since this is all going down in your subconscious, if there's something you're really angry about that's happened to you in your life, one of the weeds that's always been around, like for instance, Maybe people are always leaving you. Maybe people are always lying to you. Maybe you have issues like that that go back to childhood. Well, it's likely you'll be very pissed and angry about it in the next 24 hours. So let it go and let it flow. If you have the opportunity to cry, let yourself cry. We don't want to carry around that emotional baggage anymore. Now, zipping around to the sun, another reason for some breakdown today. The sun is ruled by Uranus. We're in chapter one of Sun and Aries. And remember, Aries is how people are strong on the planet. Aries is are the strongest, most courageous people on the planet. And wherever Aries is in your chart indicates where you draw strength from. Well, Aries is draw strength simply from their ego. You guys are masters of ego. You have the ability to shut off and charge. That's what makes you great warriors. Your ego will say, because I said so, and you'll do it. Well, that said, we're in chapter one of Sun Aries, so things will break down, or areas of your ego that are not serving you will likely break down in the next 24 hours. This will be followed by a breakthrough, but probably not a clear one, because it's just chapter one. So. If it comes to defending yourself, if it comes to not defending yourself, whatever your ego issues are that aren't serving you, maybe it's that you don't look the way you want to look, something will likely break down, unfortunately, in the next 24 hours, especially when you couple it with the moon conjuncting Mars in the house of subconscious. So best thing to do, let it go, let it flow, take notes of what's not working, and tomorrow we'll start working on the reconstruction. All right, Hero, that's all I have for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So God.